Organizing your project is easy with layers. They provide flexibility as each layer can be worked on individually in a non-destructive manner. This means that changes made will not affect other parts of an image. The concept of layers is simple. Imagine having pieces of transparent film that are stacked on top of each other. From the top, content on each corresponding film below will be visible. The sequence of these films can then be arranged, added, modified, or removed. In the work area, we have a composition or composite, an image that is made up of several different images or elements. In this case, there are three elements, an image, text, and a shape. They each appear on their own layers in the Layers panel and correspond to how the composition is displayed. The text layer is at the top, the shape layer in the middle, and lastly, the image layer. For a more streamlined view, the navigation and history panels can be minimized. This also applies to the whole side panel. To move or rearrange layers, select by clicking on the desired layer. The layer can then be dragged either up or down or use the arrow functions at the bottom of the panel. Changes in the layers panel will directly affect how the composite looks. So when the text layer is moved under the shape layer, the composite reflects the change and the text is now obstructed by the shape. To bring the text back to the front, simply move its layer back to the top of the stack. Also apparent when a layer is selected, a bounding box will appear around the element that's on it. This allows for the element to be moved and modified. If you'd like to move multiple elements at the same time, hold down either Shift or Command on a Mac and Control on a PC. While you click and select the preferred layers, then move as required. When you start a project with an image, the image itself will be a background layer that is locked by default, indicated by this padlock icon. To quickly unlock it, double-click the icon. Another method would be to unlock it from the layer settings. You can also select the Arrange and Style function and click on Unlock. Once unlocked, the background layer can now be moved freely. Because the image covers the entirety of the canvas, moving it to the top of the stack will block out everything else that's below it. In this case, we can adjust the opacity of the layer using the Layer Transparency option in the Layer Settings menu. The layer will become fully transparent when the slider is dragged all the way down to zero. To add more elements and layers, mouse over the plus symbol at the bottom of the Layers panel to activate the Quick Add function. Here you can add frames, shapes, images, text, or an empty layer. Each new element will create a new layer in the Layers panel. As you continue your edits and add more layers to your project, you can choose to show or hide each individual layer for better work efficiency. Uncheck the box on the right of the layer to hide it. When all layers are hidden, you will be left with a checkered or transparent background. To make the layers visible again, just recheck the boxes. This can also be done via layer settings. The layer settings provide functions to customize layer properties and styles. This also includes functions to combine, duplicate, and delete layers. Rename your layers for better identification and even experiment with blend modes to achieve different results for your images. We've looked at the transparency option to adjust layer opacity, the lock and unlock, as well as the show and hide layer functions. Now let's take a look at the merge layer functions. While layers are great for keeping things organized, having too many layers will often take up a hefty amount of memory and potentially affect performance. Thus, it's good practice to review and tidy up your layers. The Merge Down function combines the selected layer with the layer that's directly below it. 
Let's say we're happy with how the text and shape elements look and do not foresee further changes. The text layer is directly above the shape layer so we select it and click Merge Down. This combines both layers as one. Merge Visible merges only visible layers and ignores any that are hidden regardless of their sequence. To show this, we'll hide a layer, select Layer Settings and click Merge Visible. Now all visible layers are combined as one. Flatten Image combines all layers into a single background layer with any hidden layers ignored and removed. This also takes away any editing capabilities that were present on the individual layers. This function is commonly applied at the very end of the editing process, where there are no foreseeable changes to the image. However, it's always wise to have a backup of the layered version of your edits. So, before flattening, you may first make a duplicate from the dashboard, or simply save and download the layer PXZ format. If you'd like to make a copy of a layer or element, you may use the Duplicate Layer function. Alternatively, you may also select a layer, type Command or Control C to copy, and Command or Control V to paste. For an even quicker method, hold down the ALT key while you click and drag on the element you wish to duplicate. Lastly, delete to remove any layers you no longer need. Tapping the delete key works the same. And that concludes the exploration of the layer functions. We hope it has given you some insight on how to organize your projects for a more productive and efficient workflow.